oblique triangles, the ambiguous case. And that's this over here. Two sides and a non included angle. Let's look at this diagram. Here are the two sides B equals 12 inches and A equals 8 inches. It's not this angle, it's a non included angle that's over here, and that's this A, 32 degrees. The ambiguous case, when using the law of sines of solve triangles, there are some cases where two separate triangles can be made. This is called the ambiguous case. There are two possible solutions to the triangle. Now notice carefully to this diagram over here. All right? You have A over here. With this angle being 32, this stays the same. B, 12 inches stays the same. Now this A over here, you can swing it over here and it's still true. It's still 32 degrees and B equals 12. So you have two possibilities here. With this A equals 8, when you have this situation, and this is the example of a triangle ABC, ABC. For a triangle to be ambiguous, these conditions must exist. Angle A is acute. Angle A is less than 90 degrees, which we have over here. Information known as angle A and side AB. Angle A is not the included angle of the two sides. It's not this angle, but it's this angle over here. This would be the included side over here if the angle was over here. So this is right, it's over here, so this is what makes it ambiguous. Side A is shorter than side B, which we find this is 8 inches, this is, this is 12 inches B, so it's shorter. And then side A is longer than the altitude, this line over here, of the right angle triangle with side B as the hypotenuse. So all these cases fit this diagram over here. So this is the, you can use the law of signs, but there are two possible angles. It's angle B over here or angle B over here. Now let's do that over here. The law of sines B over sine over B equals A over sine over A. And we just got to put in the numbers. B is 12 over sine over B. That's what we want to find is sine B over here. And 8 is A. That's over here. And sine B is, sine A, excuse me, is 32. And that equals, when we cross multiply, sine B multiplied by 8 equals 12 multiplied by sine 32. And we get over here, sine B equals, again, we divide each side over here by 8. 8 goes over here then, we cross that 8 out, and 8 remains over here. Then we have this, sine B equals 12 times sine over 32 divided by 8 and sine B equals 0.7949. Let's do this on a calculator and we'll work out the problem. Sine B equals 12 times sine of 32 divided by 8 equals 0.7949. Sine B equals 0.7949. Now we want to convert that into degrees. Press the inversion button here. Sine. That equals 52.64 degrees. 52.64 degrees. Now we want to convert that into degrees and minutes. Hit the inversion button again. DD button, 52 degrees. 39. That's 37 over there. So we have to add one more. That makes it 52 degrees. 39 minutes. So angle B is 52 degrees, 39 minutes. So that's this angle over here, angle B over here. Or it's 180 degrees minus 52 degrees, 39 minutes. And that equals 127 degrees, 21 minutes. And that's this angle over here. So in the ambiguous case, you have two solutions for the triangle. So you have to be careful to find the right solution. On the board we have three triangles and the sides and the angles are on the same place in the triangles. So A is 32 degrees here, A is 120 degrees here, and A is 32 degrees here. 
B is 12 inches, B is 5 inches here, and B is 5 inches here, and A is 8 inches here, same here, A is 8 inches, and A is 13 inches. Now, these are not ambiguous triangles, but this one is, and this is the reason why. Notice the A, that you can swing this over here. On these A's, this is longer. And one of the rules is, if, if side A over here, notice, for a triangle to be ambiguous, these conditions must exist. Side A is shorter than side B. This side A here, this is an ambiguous triangle, is shorter than side B. Over here, the B is 5 inches, side A is longer, so this is not an ambiguous triangle. This can be solved. You will find these angles. And on this side over here, it says angle A is acute, is less than 90. And so this is less than 90, and this is more than 90. Again, you see that side A is long and B is short, and so you can solve the, this angle B and C with this triangle. So in solving problems in the ambiguous case, notice that when we did this problem, our answer came to 52 degrees and 39 minutes. Looking at this drawing over here, you could have put that down as the answer. Now it's obvious this is not 59 degrees, 39 minutes. So in doing these problems, you have to think of what you're doing. Does the outcome become logical? This is important when doing math. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.